let's remember, who the hell is Barack Obama, right? Four years earlier, he was, a, you know, a couple years earlier, he was a state senator from Illinois, from Chicago. State senators from Chicago don't become presidents of the United States, okay? Uh, that's not how it works. So who found this guy, okay? Uh, you know, remember he was the, we were the change, he was looking for or whatever. Who found this guy? Who decided that they had the, that to put hope into him? The answer was a woman named Penny Pritzker. Uh, Obama represented the south side of Chicago in the state legislature, a real, cess, you know, real moral cesspool there. And she ran a basically a loan sharking operation masquerading as a bank called Superior Bank. It was so bad. And think of all the evil banks you had. It was so bad that the feds put them out of business and charged her and her family personally $400 million. Now, you and me, Rob, if we had to spend, if we had to pay a half billion dollar fine, that's almost a half a billion dollars. That'd make a difference. To Penny Pritzker meant nothing. She's worth $2 billion. So she had to give up a little bit of it. And, and, and I was just looking at the Forbes list of the top billionaires. It's, it's not just Penny. I mean, there are three or four or five other Pritzkers. You put them all together, they're worth at least 10 or $12 billion between yeah, they're them. they're up there. They're getting towards Coke territory. And the thing is, he just – now, you have to understand, this is a bankster of the worst order. This woman had in his district, in Obama's district, had – was one of the inventors of the subprime mortgage – one of the people that first invented systematic steering of black people into overpriced mortgages. She's caused more damage to black Americans than any guy ever wearing a, a, a white sheet. And this is the person that picked out Barack Obama to run for Senate and, and president. And what she did was – the whole remember the whole myth that this guy came out of nowhere, right? Where did this guy come from? That you know, Suddenly he just had a bunch of tiny donors on the internet. Give me a break. This guy was picked out by Penny Pritzker. His district was reshaped from the poor people of the South Side who couldn't stomach this guy to the Gold Coast and the millionaires. Introduced him to, um, uh, you know, to Janie Diamond of J.P. Morgan and then, most importantly, Robert Rubin. Rubin blessed him. Remember, the reason why Obama beat Hillary Clinton, who was a lock-on for the Democratic nomination, is that Rubin backed Obama, not Clinton, because Obama – because Hillary was a little bit nervous about backing her hubby's deregulation of banks. It didn't work out too well. But Obama was happy to protect these guys completely. So when Rubin backed Obama, that was the big, big signal that finance had to go with Obama. And let's not forget that the banks and finance industry gave Obama $5 for everyone that went to Republicans. Have you ever, I mean, a Democrat earning, you know, pulling in five to one from the big bankers on his uh, first. Uh, Campaign, and that was uh, organized by Penny Pritzker, who was one step out of, pris- you know, away from prison, and now he made her commerce secretary. And of course, Robert Rubin, who, because he had taken 126 million from Citibank, was probably a bad choice to return as secretary of treasury. So his protege, Larry Summers, was put in, as he couldn't get confirmed, so he was given the title of economic czar, so he wouldn't have to go through a confirmation process. And Tim Geithner, the guy that did the evil deed in Geneva at the World Trade Organization, was rewarded with the post of Secretary of Treasury. People said, who's this guy Geithner? Where did he come from out, uh, from outer space? The answer was he did exactly what the boys wanted to do in Geneva. 